got failed for AI generated content? Don't worry, just tell your teacher to prove it. Hello world, my name is Data Mining Mike. I'm a data scientist and machine learning professional. I'm going to teach you what to do if your schoolwork gets rejected due to alleged AI generated content. The first thing I'm going to do is arm you with the information necessary to defend yourself and invoke change in the school system. Not only is this advice for students, it's for parents too. By the end of this video, you will know the exact words to use for maximum effect to invoke change in the school system. Prove it. Follow the burden of proof, starting with the professor. Tell your teacher that the AI content checker is no more accurate than a coin flip or a calculating chicken. Say these words verbatim. I reject your alternative hypothesis in favor of the null. My paper is 100% made by a human. That phrase is powerful and will force everyone to focus on the serious adult accusation of fraud. Write down that statement and take it to the administration if you must. Tell your teacher to submit your paper 50 times into the AI checker. If one of those 50 times the AI checker passes your paper, your teacher is left in a dilemma. Accept the 1 in 50 chance the student is honest or believe the calculating chicken. If the teacher is still hesitant to take your side, then challenge them to upload the paper 1,000 times and tally all the times it randomized in your favor. After charting the results, they will find the probability distribution to be random, no better than a coin flip. After numerous complaints, enough teachers in the faculty are gonna pass the burden of proof onto the school district to, and stop using the AI detectors altogether. If not, then you as the student or parent need to take this issue to the administration. The school district will then have to ask the manufacturer of the AI content detector the same serious questions. Know this, AI is not real. It's called machine learning and machines can't learn. The only thing they can do is generate a random output based on the data that it was trained on. Machine learning is statistical randomization. Remember that you are being accused by an unscientific randomization machine. Know your rights. You have the right to see the data that the machine learning model is trained on. You have a right to see the entire chain of custody on the data from the original source to output. You have a right to see what the model accuracy scores are. You have a right to know how the model is scored. You have a right to know the general methodology of the system. You have a right to know how often the model is updated. You have a right to know the updated model scores. Both AI detection generators and plagiarism checkers are scientifically impossible and no better than a coin flip. The reality is there is a lot of charlatans in this industry selling snake oil to school districts. The snake oil is a vain attempt to control fear, which leads to distrust in the classroom and inefficiencies in the education system. At this point in history, the students need to work with the machine learning systems. The ability to query accurate answers out of ChatGPT is an art and a science called prompt engineering. The ability to be a good prompt engineer is the ability to be a good student. If your teacher can't tell the difference between ChatGPT and the student audience, then your teacher needs to spend more time with ChatGPT. Flip the script and put the integrity violation back on the school system. Know your rights and be brave. Remember, you are being accused by an unscientific randomization machine. We live in unique times. This will pass and eventually school districts will give up buying AI detection machines and embrace the new student teacher experience. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Please leave any questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to them as soon as possible. I'm Data Mining Mike. Be sure to subscribe for more data driven content. Goodbye.